What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Keisha and I appreciate you clicking on my video. Today we've had a lot of things. This is my part one of my three part Valentine's Day looks. I know it is coming up really really soon and I feel like we need to produce some really killer looks for Valentine's Day because who doesn't want to look beautiful and feel good? I am starting this intro off different, like you can see I have a full face of makeup on and to say the least I'm really really proud of this look. It is a little bit bolder than what I would usually go for but I enjoyed it and I hope you do too. So, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, I have done my brows first, of course, and because this is a really neat, semi-glam Valentine's Day look, my bad, I am going to be leaving my eyelid with just my foundation on it. I'm not going to be putting any sort of shadow or anything because I'm going to be doing a red winged liner. Now just like you, this is going to be the first time I'm trying out red winged liner. I'm so thankful that I have lashes on because I've spoken about the fact that I have hooded eyes before. I'm going to show you a really easy trick to doing a good wing. Um, I don't know if you've tried it before, I don't know if you've seen it done. A different way by another makeup artist but this is the way that I do it I take some normal sellotape that you can just get from any old grocery store because once again why are we going to go especially buy our tape unless you have sensitive skin then please go for it but I just use the sellotape and I look into my mirror and I kind of want to stick the sellotape parallel to the arch of my brow. I want to meet this point of the sellotape with my brow but it also must fit real nice underneath your lower lash line. It is so weird to have this on your face, so just bear in mind about that. And I'm going to stick the other side on because I want them to be pretty much symmetrical. And the thing with a winged eyeliner, and this is why winged eyeliner makes me so nervous, is because personally it feels like it is never the same on both sides and that really gets to me. So I try and stick it on pretty much the same way. See, like I'm looking at it and I already feel like this, this side's tape is way more like this, whereas this side's tape is like this. What the hell? Anyway, ow. I got caught in my hair the other way. Now that our tape is stuck on, I'm going to be using Nana Coco products today because it is one of my favorite brands. They are really good quality, really professional makeup for a very affordable price. I am using the Outlast Lip Liner in the color red. So I've already made the point quite flat, but that's not a problem. These retail for, I think, $140. I will put the price in the description box down below after I've made 100% sure. And then I'm going to be using the Long Lasting Matte Lip Cream. 
in the color one and only. Let me swatch this for you guys. The applicator is really long, which makes it nice. And it's a soft applicator, it's not really rough. Uh, this isn't a lipstick and liner duo. I did purchase these separately. This retails for 190 Rand. These are the swatches of them. This one is the matte lipstick and this is the liner. So you see they perfectly complement each other. Valentine's Day for me always seems to fall on a weekday. Oh, it's on a Friday. Woo! -hoo. So we're working and then we get to get home, then we gotta shower, then we gotta get ready, then we gotta meet our dinner reservations. So it's just like we need a quick, easy but glam look if we are going out to a really cool smart restaurant. Now let's get started. So I've um opened my lip pencil liner and I'm just gonna and then I'm gonna draw a line from the corner all the way up and then down like so easy then don't worry about all of these little bumps in the road. It's not an issue right now. I'm going to show you how to clean that right up. So as you can see, I'm going to close this up quickly. The pencil is really pigmented, so let's take this off. And it gives us this really crispy line. I know this look ow, isn't for everyone. So now I'm going to show you what I mean when I say it never looks the same. Can you see how far I've taken out this side of it? And then can you see how far I've taken out this side of it? Ugh. But we're going to fix that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a normal makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean off that edge so that it's the same. Then I'm going to do so on this side. Because as you can see, I've made a little oopsie daisy on my lid, but that is not. And then I'm just adding in wherever I see other spots. So I think I've got them pretty symmetrical and I'm liking the way that's looking. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply my foundation and then I'm gonna be right back to show you how to finish this look off. So as you guys can see, I've done my foundation, I've done my contouring, I've done my blush. I did use a deeper set blush because it's Valentine's Day. And we want to look. So um, I don't know if you guys have watched my previous videos on foundation 101 and contouring. If you haven't, I'm going to link it somewhere on the video to show you guys how to do that. But I had used this palette. But for contouring today, I went in a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can notice. And I used this shade. And then for blush... I went in deeper set and I used this shade over here. And then as per the usual, I went in with my Essence Light Up Your Face palette for highlight. Remember, we're going out. It's Valentine's Day. We want to be sexy, so we want to look extra glowy. I'm going to do some mascara. I'm not doing any liner underneath my eye because I feel like the red does enough. Once again, for mascara, I'm going in with the Nana Coco. HD mascara So 
So now for lippy, I'm gonna go real monotone with this look. So I'm gonna go back in with this and then I'm gonna go in with this. I do overline my lips a little bit. I don't have anything on my lips, just foundation. Do not put Vaseline, a lip ice, Zambac, any kind of thing on your lip because if you are using, like I am, a matte liquid lipstick, it is not going to last. It's going to create crusty, crabby, gross parts and no one wants that. Gonna line our lips now like this. Move my a little bit back so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Crossover one. Crossover two. Oh, that's that. I'm just kidding. Then. very bottom then all the way down And we smush together a little bit. We're gonna take our liquid lipstick and I'm gonna wipe a lot of the excess back in because we don't want it to become really clumpy and tacky and then your lips are gonna feel like they're pulling apart from each other and it's not pleasant. So Wow, guys, I really dig this lipstick. I have used it before, but with this eye look, I think I'm vibing it 100%. Then, of course, we're going to add highlighter. To my cupid's bow. So, I just want to talk about this matte lip cream the texture of it is really creamy it's really really easy to apply it doesn't come off easily i'm going to keep an eye on it throughout the course of the day to see how it lasts for application wise it's really smooth to apply it's also not making my lips feel stuck together and dry and gross so overall I think it's a really great product and once again it's a really good buy. I am not sponsored by Nano Coco, so I'm not saying this to get a paycheck. I am saying it solely because I think it's a great product. They are on the more expensive side of affordable makeup, but they are not overpriced. So I'm going to set my face with my MOD setting spray. I love that spritzing. And yeah, that is my first part of my three-part Valentine's Day look series. I am going to list all the products I've used in the description box down below. I know this is a little bit of a bold look, so a lot of women might not want to do it. But I think I really, really love it. I mean, like... This red liner is gorgeous. I've left my under eye open. I don't want to flood my eyes with product. Um, it's quick and easy. All together, this look took me about 25 minutes. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. Please let me know what else you want to see from me. And also, click the bell icon. But I will be back soon. Bye.